I didn't vlog yesterday because I didn't get up too much and today I'm starting the vlog in the evening it's the last day of our trip it's the end I'm so sad when we came I was like oh we have we have so many days we have almost a week we'll do this we'll do that we'll go here we'll go there half of that stuff didn't happen not that I regret any of it it's been an amazing trip but we were definitely overtly ambitious with what we'll get done on this trip and when you come here to Goa it's just like natural to be much more relaxed and much more chill and now our trip is done but as they say don't cry that it's over smile that it happened and I'm happy that this trip happened and the day is not over yet we have this evening which we'll be going out for a little bit we just went and shot that's why I'm like a little glamorous Mainly we'll be doing a lot of cooking today. Ines, with a little bit of help from mum, will be whipping up some delicious Goan food. If you like seeing the rustic home cooked, like Goan food made in, you know, in the kitchen in the old fashioned way, I think you might enjoy this vlog. So we are by the farm hot house. I mean it was a house first but then it was a farm hot factory, right? What is farm hot? It was a brand that made pickles, jams, etc. Yeah, and this house is spooky, it's haunted. <laughs> I don't believe in that stuff, but it makes a fun little story. If you can see the well here on the farm hot's compound, they've actually put religious tiles there like Jesus and Mother Mary on the well. They've newly put it, which I think further reinforces the haunted story, don't you think mum? The bajiyas are almost over. We just went to the store and now Ines has made some amazing fish cutlets. They smell very good. I am so stuffed but I'm tempted to taste this because it looks and smells amazing. The cutlets are yummy. Mackerel cutlets. Ines is making sorpatel today. She has uh, boiled the pork for 5 minutes and now I'm chopping it, getting it ready to be Now we're going to be starting the main batter for bibinka which is this go in Portuguese sort of like a layered dessert more like a pudding so we have a lot of eggs here we are using country eggs this is like basically coconut milk all-purpose flour and some nutmeg and here's some sugar We're all packed up, we're eating Alas meal here 
and Inez made so much of good food. I'm sorry if I couldn't show you guys like a lot of the process, but I did show you guys some. I don't have the exact recipes, but they are readily available online. And I'll also leave some links in the description bar below. So we're getting to take a lot of that delicious food home. And I think we won't have to cook for a few days. We'll be just gorging ourselves on more of it. So I feel like I did not really do good justice to the vlogs in Goa this time. But it was a really good break for me. You don't get much phone network here. Like GPRS at best. So it allowed me to sort of just switch off and chill. And you could kind of say like be in the moment. As cliched as it sounds. I was just living like a few years ago. I was not in blogger mode or like in work mode all of the time. I was just chilling and doing my thing. This particular home that stands behind me. Many generations of my family have got to like live and love and thrive in this house. My grandmother was born here. My mother spent a lot of her time here. She tells me like how they modernized the house, how they first put in like plumbing and stuff because that wasn't there. Yeah, now I get to stay here as well and I take that as a gift. I always never know uh, when I'll be back here. I've seen this house change a lot over the years and the situation is complicated. Every time I come back, I feel like it's a little less like how I remember it. But I'll take the time that I've spent here as a very special experience and as a gift. And with that, I'll sign off from this time's vlogs. There is a kitty happily sleeping just next to me. And the rooster is like crowing at all hours of the day. I don't know what his problem is. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're going back home to Bombay in like an hour or two. And it's onward to the next adventure now in just a few days.